keen painters! Welcome to this Colour of the Month guide. In this series we'll be exploring how to use your Citadel colour paint range to get some exciting colour combinations and army schemes. This month we'll be painting dark bronze, which can be used for many types of solid plates and armour. In this guide we'll be showing you this dark bronze on a free guild marshal. We'll also look how we can use the same recipe on various other armies that we can find in Warhammer 40,000 and Age of Sigmar. Now, let's undercoat our model by using Chaos Black, as it gives us a great foundation for the darker colours we'll be applying. It will also help the metallic paints we'll use have a solid, smooth finish on our model too. We'll start by thinning some Castellax bronze on our palette with a drop of water and applying it to the armour plates with a small base brush. If you find your paint is a bit too thin, you can always add a bit more paint to your mix, as we're after a milk-like consistency. We want to make sure that we have a few thin coats applied one at a time, leaving each layer to fully dry. This allows those metallic flakes to settle and flatten on the model, without pulling up the last layer of paint. Doing this allows us to keep our paint smooth on the model, but build up that solid metallic finish on our armour. This is why multiple thin coats are best compared to one thicker coat, as we want those details to be defined on the model. Now with our base colour applied, we can move on to shading the armour. For this, we are going to use two light coats of Nuln Oil. This gives us our shadows for the recesses and darkens down the bronze overall, as we want the armour not to be too shiny or bright. With our first coat, we'll be applying it all over, making sure we get a good amount into those recesses. I'm using a medium layer brush here, as we can get a lot more paint onto our model but have more control of applying it into those recesses. If the detail you are painting is quite small though, you may find applying it with a small layer brush instead gives you better control. After the first coat is dry, we can apply a second coat into those areas that seem lighter than others or to define those recesses even more. By applying two lighter coats instead of one heavy coat, we have more control of paint pooling and where those shadows sit on the model. Next, we'll add a highlight of rune or brass to the edges of the armour and any details. We'll be using a small layer brush for this, so we can get a sharp, clean line on the armour plates. We can get a point to our brush by rolling and twisting the brush on the palette. This also helps us control how much paint we have on the bristles to apply to the model. By picking out the major edges and details, whilst keeping the bronze dark, we are giving the armour a worn and burnished effect naturally. Armour will take the brunt of the attack over time. So if you make a mistake or the highlight is a bit too thick, just reapply the last two steps and then you're ready to highlight again. With that highlight done, we can stop here, as our model will look great on the battlefield. However, you can add one more highlight to really make this colour stand out even more, and take our painting to the next level. For that extra highlight, we'll be using Stormhose Silver to paint the tips and highest edges of the armour. As this colour is a super light silver, it will add a bit more contrast from the dark recesses, making those plates and details stand out even more. Remember to make sure your paint is thin and your brush is pointed, and we can make some smooth, sharp lines. We don't have to paint every edge or detail with this colour, as that will make the brightest points stand out even more. If you want some battle damage, we can even apply some scratches on the armour, adding character to your models. A few scratches in places where blades and projectiles would hit would make this look even more realistic. And there we are, a dark bronze armour for our free guild marshal is now complete. Now this scheme can be used on a variety of other models and armies across Age of Sigma and Warhammer 40,000. So let's have a look at those now. Here we have used the same steps on the Strakari Cabalite Warrior. Those pointy layered armoured plates really let this colour scheme do all the talking and those scratches stand out strongly against the dark recesses under the plates. This would look amazing across a whole Drakari raiding force, ready for their dark and sinister needs. And on this Caradron Overlord Admiral, you can see this colour works great on picking out the details on a lot of curved and rounder armour details too. Even having the darkest armour doesn't mean that you shouldn't still stand out. You can still give your models some extra punch. For more tutorials, tips and tricks, check out citadelcolor.com or head to your local Warhammer store where our amazing staff will be happy to help you. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Bye bye!